Week 2, Day 2, Morning Nourishment Hebrews 4.16 Let us therefore come forward with boldness to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace for timely help. Galatians 6.18 That the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers in John 3.34 for he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, who we give the Spirit, not by measure. In their experience, experience of the grace of God's one, the believers come forward with boldness to the truth of grace, to find the ways for time and help. The very Christ who is sitting on the throne is in heaven, is also now in our spirit, where the habitation of God is. Since today, our spirit is the place of God's habitation. Whenever we turn to our spirit, we touch the throne in the heaven, and this throne is the, is the throne of grace of grace to us. When we come forward to the throne of grace, we receive Christ as grace for our timely help. Today's reading. Christ created the new creation by His grace, being with the believer's spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ is the bountiful supply of the Triune God, who is embodied the Son of a realized and life-giving Spirit, enjoyed by us through the ex exercise of our human spirit. Grace is God the Father embodied in the Son, who is realized the Spirit. the Lord as the head and the king, respecting his position and honoring his authority. We need to see that the throne of grace in our spirit, whenever we come to the throne of grace, by turning to our spirit and calling on the name of the Lord, we shall then throne the Lord giving him the headship and kingship and the lordship within us. God's throne is the source of our flowing grace. If we enthrone the Lord Jesus within us, the Spirit as the river of water of life will flow from the throne of grace to supply us, and we will receive grace and enjoy grace. We need to be those who receive and enjoy the grace of the Lord in our spirit. The receiving of Christ as the Spirit of grace is a long is a lifelong continuous matter. Day by day, a marvelous divine transmission should take place. God supplies the Spirit of the multitude, and we receive the Spirit of grace continually. The way to open ourselves to the heavenly transmission in order to receive the supply of the all-inclusive life-giving Spirit of grace is by exercising our spirit to pray and to call on the name of the Lord, Oh Lord Jesus. As we receive and enjoy the triune God as our grace, we will gradually become one with organically. We will become our constituent and we will become His expression. The mark of God's economy is that Christ today is the grace of God in our spirit. Our regenerated spirit indwelt by the Spirit is the purpose of God's promised blessings. In our spirit, if we experience and enjoy the Spirit, Lord, which is bountiful supply of the all-inclusive spirit, to be with our spirit. We do not know how our human spirit, which has been regenerated by the Holy Spirit, we have no way to, en to enjoy Christ as the, the all-inclusive Christ. We need to learn to exercise our spirit and to walk in our spirit in order to to enjoy the grace of Christ, which is Christ Himself for our enjoyment. Christ is the center of God's economy, and the Spirit is the reality of Christ. When Christ is realized through the Spirit in our spirit, we become the new creation. The new creation is Christ living in our spirit. Hence, our spirit is vital for us to live the life of the new creation. 
for the fulfilling of our